here is a video to help you with practicing what should we do with the drunken sailor or you might know it as what should we do with the sleepy pirate so we've got this rhythm in it haven't we that keeps on repeating dun, da, da, dun, da, da. let's say what shall we do with the off you go what shall we do with the you might also say it as T ticker T ticker. Let's say it like that. T ticker T ticker. If we think about on the bow, we've got a longer bow and a little. We've got long, little. So that's a good one to practice. So let's find an E on the violin. You can pick any E you like. So it can be this one, or it can be one on the D string or another one that you can find and we're just going to play that rhythm T ticker T ticker let's try it off we go off we go off we go off we go, off we go. good so just check there that we've got a long little long little okay and using all of those fingers in your bow check that you've got your curly pinky in your thumb working so we can do that rhythm there okay so we have that rhythm lots of times in this music don't we just have a little look at your music now um find the bits in the first two line where you have that rhythm so which bars are they have a look have a look now have you spotted them so we can see it in bar one bar three and bar five in the first two lines so we're starting on the b note which is our one on the a string that's in bar one in bar three what happens there have a look in your music we take it off and we play an a in bar five what happens again we've got to put that finger on so let's practice that bit first let's do bar one off we go that's one on the A string. Practice that a few times. Okay, let's do bar three. That's our A. Off we go. Okay, now bar five, one on the A string. Off we go. Okay, so try that a few times um, there. So next we've got the other bits in the first two lines and these bits we want to practice really nice and slowly first so that's my top tip play it slowly and repeat it okay now one of the things I love to do for repeats because it can get boring just to play it over and over again is to pick different parts of the room so you've got four walls in your room and that means you can play it to four different audiences you can even put um, teddies or um, people if you can make them go there or whatever you want to perform to four different spots in the room okay so let's try it with the second bar the notes there are like this did you notice what strings we were playing on there we started on the A string didn't we so one hopped over to the D string and the three stayed on the D string. And then the one went back to the A string. Okay, try that with me. Off we go. Hop to the D string. Three on the D string. One on the A string. Okay, so now we're gonna play that to this side of the room. Okay, so let's just try that now. One on the A string, nice and slowly. Off we go. Good. I'm really listening to check that you've got those same notes as me. So, um, go away and play that now to all four corners of your room, or all four teddies that you're going to play to today. You can do the same with bars four and bars six and seven. I'm just going to play those bars for you now so you can hear what they sound like. So bar four, starting on the A. So we've got A string, D 
E string, D string, A string. Okay, you can even try and practice it without the fingers, like this. Now bar six and seven, this bit's a bit longer, it's two bars. Have a listen to how this goes. So first of all, it starts with on the one on the A string and the fingers climb up the ladder. One, two, three, four. And then we go more like an arpeggio on the way down. So we go three, skip the two, one, four, two. Okay, try just the fingers now. So without the bow, let's just try bars six and seven. So let's try together. Off we go. One, two, three, four, three, one, four, two. Okay, so pause the video then and do those fingers on your own so you really feel like you've, you've got them. And then after that, add the bow.